Well, welcome to Tea Time with Miss Liz. That's right, it's tea time again, and we're having evening tea. So tonight in the studio, I am joined with Kirsten Kay. So I'm going to share a little bit on who she is, and then we'll get right into her 21-day challenge and all of the other good goodies that she has that she has in store for all of us. So Kirsten was born and raised in Southern California, where she spent her childhood growing up on an acre of land that her grandfather had made into an urban forest of a, a variety of fruit trees. Her parents and grandparents were all teachers and helped instill in her an appreciation and love for being outside, valuing, valuing, valuing a good education and giving back to the community. Kirsten was truly fortunate to be able to study, volunteer, and even work abroad while traveling so many amazing places around the world. She volunteered with the Earth Watch Institute in Barbados, conducting research and educating locals on sea turtles conser conservation issues. Kirsten also studies abroad for six weeks while backpacking through Br Br Brazil during her college years. While obtaining her BA in environment studies, Kirsten then attended Pace Law, Law School in New York, studying to become an environmental lawyer but unfortunately became extremely ill and had an autoimmune disease. Sorry if I'm saying anything wrong, my tongue is just a little twisted. And uh, that forced her to drop out of law school and figure out a new path forward. She understands firsthand that not everything goes as planned and she has extensive experience with overcoming real life struggles on a daily basis. After taking some time to try to heal Kristen, then took an opportunity to live and work abroad for over six years in Cayman Islands for John Michael Kuster, ambassador of the environment based at the Ritz Car Carlton Grand Cayman, working as an educational leader within a major luxury hotel corporation presented her with a unique opportunity to inspire adults, families and children to appreciate their environment around them and to share with them a new perspective of the role they play in creating a better world. Kirsten also continued to volunteer with some incredible organizations as she assisted with the Blue England Recovery Program and the Sea Turtle Conservation Program with the Department of the Environment in the Cayman Islands. Kirsten then returned to California to be closer to her family where she worked as an educational assessment coordinator for Luma Linda University School of Medicine, and most recently enjoyed working as a resource educator for the Riverside Corona Resource Conservation District. Kirsten developed and taught educational programs and attended community outreach events where she attended, where she shared resources and helped to educate the local public about sustainable practices. But Kirsten has always put her whole heart into every job she has ever had, she still felt that she was not quite fulfilling her own personal life aspirations. When COVID hit, Kirsten found that she could do she could no longer hesitate in taking action and decided it was time to utilize her various experiences to fulfill her own purpose by creating link to humanity. And that's why we're here. This has been a project in the works for some time, but watching the world become further and further divided, she knew she could not wait any longer to share Link to Humanity with the world. Through Link to, Link to Humanity, Kirsten hopes to empower people to reconnect to each other and to the environment, instilling wonder and inspiring them to take personal actions to create a positive impact in our world and a and more sustainable future by living with purpose. To better understand what linked to humanity means to Kirsten and how a special movement involved, involving frogs as a little girl changed her life forever, please watch her video part one, Intro to Links to Humanity, which I believe is on your YouTube channel, correct? Yes, yes it is. And Kirsten's experience over many years of interacting with people of all ages and backgrounds has helped her to understand how... Uh, how so much disregard and misunderstanding is due to a lack of education, awareness, and shortage of access to important resources. She has become a pre 
she has come to appreciate that only by demonstrating to people and mentoring them in their everyday decisions can she have the impact she wants to, in helping to create positive change towards a more sustainable future. That is an amazing bio. Oh my God. And I have been super, super excited for this tea time because as many of you know, I am a humanitarian. And when I found Kirsten, I was like, oh my God, I need this girl on tea time. So bad. Like so, so bad. Well, thank so, you for having me. So thank you so much, Kirsten, for accepting and being on tea time with me today. So could you share a little bit on the backstory and how we got to where linked to humanity started sure. and where it's going. Yes. So um, like the bio said, um, I am a resource educator um, and I've, I've done a lot of environmental education, um, mostly out outdoors and, and out in the environment and then most recently in classrooms. But I just had this calling that I wanted to do more and especially when COVID hit and there was so much it just seemed like everything was negative and there was so much division. I just felt that I really needed to do something to help share the beauty that I see all around me and the inspiration that I find in the world and to help other people see the strength that I know they have in their hearts. And that if we can all come together um, with kindness and love and move forward, that we can create a better community and create a better version of humanity. So that's where it all stemmed from. <laughs> and so I did, I started with um, a little, I just published a little book um, called To Be Alive, which was basically my nature photography from around the world with some of my um, positive and optimistic viewpoints of life and hopefully also sharing with others the strength that they have inside of them so, so i'm gonna i'm gonna bring up the things that you mentioned so you okay. did mention the book so i'm gonna bring up the book and then we can sh show everybody this amazing book and then you can say it and share a little bit more on what the okay. book is and all that so i'm Perfect. gonna just get that uh do 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 and I do have a copy here. So it's an ebook and it's also, um, you can also purchase it paperback through Amazon. Um, but I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's just a little paperback book, um, mostly like nature photography um, from around the world. And there's the blue iguana that I helped. <laughs> with some of my volunteer experiences. But yeah, so that's the, the little book there. So as I'm, I, I'm, okay. I'm gonna scroll through your uh, through your book site so that people can see where they thank can reach you as well, Kirsten. Yes, thank you. Yeah, so to me, it's just really important that I think it's so easy to get distracted by everyday life and that we all get caught up in that rat race and we lose sight of what we really want to do or we get overwhelmed with life and then we lose sight of the love and the kindness that we all have and that we can all share and that we can create positive impacts. And it doesn't take a lot to create a positive impact. Every single person can do that every single day. And so that's really where I was coming from and that I feel like if we can just have an area uh, and create a community where we can be inclusive and people can support one another to just fulfill their dreams and their aspirations to be um, create a more sustainable future where we can help others and our planet at the same time. So you have a really incredible story. Like as I was reading your bio, you've been around like, I mean, all <laughs> over. So what experiences did you get from doing all of those incredible things? I have to say that probably um, while I really appreciated and enjoyed my college um, university years, my favorite experience and where I learned the most was when I did, I did backpacking for six weeks and it was actually Belize. Um, and I learned more in those six weeks about life and the world than I did in my four years of university. Um, but. I got to meet at least seven different cultures in one tiny country and 
to be firsthand um, backpacking through the rainforest was really incredible. And it was really amazing because we actually got credit for writing um, a research paper, but basically it had to be on a local issue. And so mine happened to be on the Prado Dam, which was a dam that was gonna be built on a local river there. And so I had to interview the local people to find out what they thought about it and what what kind of problems it was going to create and it just gave me a really good perspective that there's always more than one side to a story and i think we often forget that and sometimes there's even more than two sides to a story and so i think it really just comes back to that having those experiences of being able to interact with so many diverse people and getting that opportunity just really opened my eyes that if we can just become more accepting and realize that diversity is a good thing and that if we can become inclusive and include people rather than shut them out that we'll have a better opportunity of creating a better future for all of us and that we truly are all connected so even when i was in the middle of the rainforest there were connections there that i could then bring back home into what i would call civilization right but just so important that we truly are all connected and we're all on the same planet earth so what we do to ourselves and what we do to others we're also doing to the planet and vice versa so we have to take care of each other and our home so so, so i when i was reading your bio i was like oh my god like this girl has been all over like she's been with turtles she's been with frogs <laughs> she's been with, and i'm just like oh my god she's such she, so much like me like i just want to play with the frogs and, and yes. turtles and, <laughs> and all that so i really really am blown away by how much you have done well thank you like, i've you been very fortunate yes i've been very very fortunate and it's very interesting as well because like my bio said i was one of those people that thought i had my whole life planned out from day one, you know, I knew exactly what I was going to do. I was going to become an environmental lawyer and fight for all the environmental activists. And then when I got to law school, I did get sick and it definitely knocked me on my butt <laughs> and <laughs> pulled the rug out from under my feet. And suddenly the life that I had planned wasn't there anymore. And so I had to figure out what I was going to do next. And it really was by turning to nature and going to work in the Cayman Islands, which you can't ask for a more beautiful place to be, um, that I was able to start to heal a little bit and then just get re-inspired. And then I was able to move on from there. And so it really, I have to say nature saved me in that regard. So, so we have a 21 day challenge that I see on your back of your screen here. So could yes. you tell us what that 21 day challenge is? And I believe it starts June 1st, right? It does start June 1st. And yes, so the reason I've created this 21 day challenge is so that you feel empowered and so that you know that you can take action. By the end of this 21 day challenge, you will have the resources and the tools to not only feel like you've improved on yourself and that you have more empowerment, but that you also have the tools you need to take positive action to create a more sustainable future. So um, the first week is kind of more about self growth. And I think sometimes we don't all get taught those life skills that we need, <laughs> like a good mindset. And that I know we don't want to wash over that everything needs to be positive, but having an optimistic standpoint and mindset can really help propel you forward. And so the first week is kind of more about empowerment tools and connecting and realizing that we want to celebrate our uniqueness and that we all have strength within. And then the second week is more focused on um, how we are all connected because we're all stardust, which I think is so cool. <laughs> we're all related. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you are. We're all made of the same stuff. So that's really fun. And just that with that connection then comes our responsibility to take care of each other and our planet. And we only have one earth. And so then the third week sums up and gives you solutions and actions that you can take to then make sure that you know you're making a positive impact as you move forward. 
and make sure you feel like you're living with purpose and that you're accomplishing the goals you want to do. So that's kind of a sum up, a quick sum up of the 21 day challenge. <laughs> so the first week is more on self care yeah. in order to care about our planet, right? To care about humanity. Yes. And that sometimes I think self care and that we often don't realize the strength we have within ourselves. It's easy, especially with as many advertisements as we get bombarded with that it's easy to feel like you're not enough. And it's important that you are enough and you can accomplish the things you want to do. So we start there with celebrating your uniqueness and celebrating the person you are and embracing that we all have faults. So nobody's perfect. And then moving from there into what we really want to do to create a positive impact. So I love it. And thank you. <laughs> I, I, I'm all about self care because we don't take care of ourselves enough. You know, yeah, we have to set the examples. We have to be the role models. If we want to change in the world, we have to be the, that role model. Right. Yes. And, and I think that's where I connected so much with you. And I was like, oh, my God, I can't wait for this tea. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh, my goodness. And then you were like, can you share my book? And I was like, a book? Oh, my goodness. She has a book, too. So and she does have an amazing website. So I'm going to bring the website up and then you can share a little bit about the website. Sure. Thank you. And then I'll bring up all the different links where you can be reached and all of that. And any anything you would like to share with the viewers out there right now on who is Kirsten K and what is making you stand so bright and so tall with Link to Humanity? I guess just because I'm really following my passion and it's, I just have always had this drive to help others and to help save animals and to help protect our mother earth. And I think Link to Humanity is bringing all of that together. And I just really, want to reach people and let them know they're not alone, especially in this crazy time that we have right now, that we are all connected and that we truly are stronger together. And we just really, really need to embrace that concept and that the actions we take, especially in the next 10 years, are really going to decide what happens not only for ourselves or the human race, but for the whole planet moving forward. And so that's part of what um, the challenge we'll go into is with climate change. And regardless of how you feel about it, um, I promise you that there are actions and solutions for you and there's really amazing resources. So every day um, within the challenge, I give you probably way more resources than any one person <laughs> wants <laughs> because it's like that I pour my heart into everything. So um, but those resources will be there for you for as long as you want. So even if you don't get to them within the 21 days, you can go back and look at those resources. But I have spent many, many hours looking up videos and songs and inspirational things and educational resources and organizations that you can click on and contribute to and join and different ways that you can really start to take action. And I have a lot of really great sustainable products that I help um, share so that we know that there are everyday choices that you can do and to help make a difference. So, so I have, brought, I, I have brought up your website, Kirsten. So if you want to share a little bit on the website, I did see something about a soap if I remember right at the bottom of the yes. website. Yes. So this, yeah, it's how to be rejuvenated because we all need that. We want to strengthen our resiliency. I want you to become your own force of nature and then I'll help you to become a link to humanity. And it's for people that want to become the best versions of themselves and then also make a positive impact in the world. So there's, I have a little intro video and I say, come grow with me because that's what it's all about, right? None of us are perfect and we can all grow together and keep improving each day. And yes, it does start on June 1st. So that's Tuesday. I tried to hold off so that you didn't have to start on a holiday <laughs> from a whole <laughs> <real> day, <laughs> but yeah, it'll, and then I will run it again as well. So as much as I would love everyone to sign up right away for June 1st, if it's not something you can do at this time, please come back and check out my webpage and come back again because I will be running the challenge um, multiple times because I want to get as many people as possible. And then you can see you deserve to be rejuvenated and happy. You deserve to feel like you're living with purpose. And so those are the things. 
and to, you deserve a fresh start to figure out a new path forward because it's easy to get lost. And so that's something I will help guide you through. And so I also will provide worksheets and different pages that you can do and exercises that I've created to help you move forward and to feel like you're advancing. So, and yeah, join the challenge today. <laughs> <laughs> I really love the word deserve because we don't, when we hear that word deserve, people who don't self care, that word is hard for them to hear, you know? It is. And we do. We deserve more than just waking up every day, rushing into the rat race, and, you know, working as hard as we possibly can to just put food on the table and then come home, go to bed, and do it all over again. There's more to life than that. And so and I know we're not all necessarily in a position where we can embrace that, but I think we all need to start to find those little moments of the miracles that happen every day, all day long, and realize that those are there and embrace those moments so that we can start to see that there is more to life than just the craziness. So. And, I and I love this, this statement here. Here's the truth. If anybody knows Miss Liz, the truth hurts. I'm always speaking truth, uh, whether you want to hear it or not, because we yeah. need to hear the truth. And I, and, I, and I think that's why we connected so much, Kirsten, is because of the words and the, the way the format of how you have linked to humanity. It, it, it just kind of was like a calling. I was like, I just need this girl. Like, <laughs> well, Thank you. <laughs> it is true. We do need to. And it is true. We don't like to face the truth. And I didn't like to face the truth for a long time either. But I had to. Just, you know, decide, okay, I'm going to do this and put myself out there. It's scary, but that's okay because this is my true calling and this is what I want to do. So, and that's where you are amazing too, because you are following your heart and you're putting, you're not only putting yourself out there, but you're helping others do that as well. So thank you for what you do. It's amazing. Oh, well. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I'm different and I, a lot of people are why do you do this? And the reason that I do this is because there are so many incredible people like Kirsten out there who don't get seen, who don't get heard, and who are making a difference. And that's what Tea Time is about. It's about making a difference, right? Because the big guys always get seen, but the little guys don't get seen. And that doesn't work for me. So that's the truth. The truth hurts. <laughs> so Mrs. came in here and I brought my cup of tea and we're, we're getting we're getting everyone seen because I believe everyone has a backstory and everyone does what they do and they have their calling and their purpose at a time when they're ready because yeah. I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't, I, I was just like, it was a calling and I just feel pulled to do it. And I feel in my heart that this is what I'm meant to do. So, and that's why I go and I look for guests that are calling to me and who have the same similar connections and similar things in life, you know, um, well, and that's why, again, it's linked to humanity, because as much as I love nature and a, I'm an environmentalist for sure, but it's more than just about the environment. It's that we truly are all connected and that we can, we truly can find common ground if we open our hearts and our minds to it. It just depends on what boundaries we want to break down and what preconceptions that we want to break. But in reality, we are truly connected. And so we just need to really find that and embrace that so that we can create a better humanity because we, there's no reason for the ugliness that is out there in the world right now. It's just terrible. Exactly. <laughs> we right. Better. We can do better. <laughs> exactly. We can do better, you yeah. know, and, and when we work together, we can do better. Exactly. You know, and I, so I just want to throw out there that yes, anybody else that is out there and, you know, trying to make connections that I'm here for that too. Like I'm will love to help support you. And if you help support me, because that's what it's all about and making those connections and around the globe, not just in your backyard. And so it's really important that we embrace everybody and we work together to create a more sustainable future so we can all thrive rather than just survive. So. And I like that you said that not just in our own backyards, because we need to connect with different countries different traditions. Yeah. We need to open that door. We need to have that open mind and understanding, you know? Yes, and we really do. Yeah, truly, truly, truly. So I'm going to bring up a couple of pages that, uh, Kristen, you can 
you can say a little bit on them and people can follow you on these pages, I believe, right? Yes. So I'm going to bring them up one by one. So she does have her YouTube channel. And I am hoping to get that a little more up and running. <clears throat> I'm hoping to try to start maybe giving some reviews about some of the sustainable products that I've been using. Um, so if you want to stay tuned for that, I'm working on that. Um, but right now it's mostly my backstory and then the intro to the challenge. And as I develop more, I'll put more there, but um, that's the YouTube station. But stay so, tuned. <laughs> you to subscribe to that channel because that's going to be an amazing channel. You're going to see all of that incredible stuff for the challenge. So be sure to subscribe. Yes, and that's what we do is we connect. And all of the viewers out there, if you would like to have Kirsten K on your podcast or on your anywhere, reach out to her. Amazing young lady. I'm telling you, you, you <laughs> want to have her on your podcast so she can get this 21 day challenge out there. And that's what I'm about. I'm about networking and sharing these incredible guests with everyone. I don't keep my guests to myself. I share them. So I share my cup of tea with everybody. So, and then the next page that she has that I'm gonna bring up, I believe is her Pinterest. So any of you Pinterest people out there, follow yes. that page <laughs> yes please so i have pinterest instagram and facebook and what i've been trying to do is post uh what's my own photography every day and then from around the world and my travels and then also an uh, inspirational quote quotes really speak to me so i'm one of those i remember in high school my room just had postcards all on the wall of all the different quotes that inspired me um, but I love to share words of wisdom with other people. And so I will, I do share a quote every day and then also my little take or spin on it of how we're connected or a little piece of inspiration or a little support for the day, something to help get you started or elevate you if you're feeling down because we all have those moments and we all need help. Exactly. And then we have her Instagram page. Yes, so there you can see some. <laughs> you can see some of the incredible frogs, and <laughs> and her posts are just amazing. Oh, thank like, you. The animals, the colors are just engaging. Like they really pull you in. Like really, really, truly beautiful post here, thank and you. that. So I, I really love what you're doing with with Link to Humanity, and like I said, anything that you need from me at all to help you get out there let me know i will share it i will get it out there Thank and that and any and anybody who's watching the replay share this video because all of the tea times get uploaded to miss liz's tea time youtube channel and you can share these you can share them with anyone you want if you are looking for somebody to speak on what kirsten has done in in her past and even now you know you have worked with some amazing people like you know, yes. inspire the young generation, the, the children, especially the education. That's the part that was the most fun. So working in the Cayman Islands and it was for Jean-Michel Cousteau's Ambassadors of the Environment. I remember because it was the Ritz Carlton, we had to be really careful what we did because they're very, I guess you could say high end guests often. <laughs> and so a lot of VIPs, but I remember that we had because I was there six years, the kids started when they were four, but the same families would come back year after year after year, which was really interesting to me. I didn't realize that people did that, but they were so, they loved that place so much that they did that. And so over six years, it was so fun to watch those four-year-olds that we would get to teach them that had never seen stars because they lived in New York City and they hadn't looked up and then we'd show them astronomy and teach them stories about astronomy. And then they got to hold a hermit crab and you know different things like that and i just remember one of the vip dads coming in and being so angry because he's like what did you teach my child yesterday <laughs> she freaked out when i ordered crab last night and i was like oh no okay well, <laughs> and then i found out that i had had her the day before on a, it was called life on the edge and it was an activity where we take them to tide pools and we teach them about the animals. And she, we had held hermit crabs all morning and we talked about how even the crabs 
help in breaking down everything. So there's no waste in nature. And so that we want to protect them and, and then all of that. And so she, even as a four-year-old, you know, held that onto that and then <laughs> fought with her dad. But after I explained it, he was like, wow, that's really amazing that you were able to get through to her that quickly and in that short of time and make that impact. And so what was kind of a, oh my gosh, I'm in trouble, turned into a great experience. And it made me realize that even though not every day, you know, is going to be like that, I realized that I couldn't make an impact. So <laughs> that was a really fun experience. But yes, working with children is amazing because they haven't been already ruined by society, right? Yeah. They're still so open and fresh and they're still curious. And that's another thing that I really push in my challenge is that we want to use our curiosity to fall back in love with the world. Yeah. And because we only protect what we love. So we want to fall in love with the world. I, I really like that because with everything going on with COVID and everything, we really need that education. We need to really fill the children's minds with curiosity yeah. again. You know, we yeah. need to keep them busy, keep the imagination open, you know. So again, anybody who is out there who's watching now or watching the replay, check out Kristen Case. Like I'm, I mean, like this girl has done so much, and and like I am blown away. Like when I read your bio, I was like, oh my god, she got to do this, she got to do that, and I was like, oh my god, that's the little girl that in me that wanted to do that. You know, like yeah. I'm going to be doing this 21 day challenge. Like I, I am so excited for it. I'm like, I, I, yeah, I can't wait. Well, thank so you. now, so now I'm gonna switch it up a little because that's what okay. Miss Liz does. I switch it up all the time, <laughs> and I kind of bring the T in. Now we bring the T in. Okay. So what does T mean to you, Kirsten? Ooh, that's a good question. I actually love T. Um, I'm not probably into it as much as some people that really um, are experts in it, but I do love all the different flavors and the different things that it can help create. So I've been more recently, especially with health and stuff, I've been looking into ways that tea can help you heal and the different natural ingredients that it has and how they really do affect you. Um, but I'm really enjoying, um, I've been looking more into mushrooms, not in a psychedelic way, but just in a healthy, natural. <laughs> I have a girlfriend who's into mushrooms. Trust me, I should hook you guys up because she put some pretty mushrooms on. And I was like, oh my God, those are nice mushrooms. She's like, oh, they taste good. I was like, I'm not a mushroom person, but yeah, they look my pretty, best, like, best friend cannot stand mushrooms, like the texture, it's so funny. But that, um, yeah, they have a lot of really important nutrient value. And I'm learning, um, even in the challenge, I put a little blog about it because I'm actually feeding my dog dog food now that's just mushroom protein. There's all these new things coming out that are really, it's a very sustainable product. There's even mushrooms that they're discovering that may, or fungus of a type, that may be able to help break down when there's oil spills and eat plastic possibly. So there's a lot of new technologies and stuff, but sorry, I got sidetracked. So back to the tea. <laughs> no, that's okay. Because maybe there's a mushroom tea out there. I'm not sure. I haven't even looked into mushroom tea. Well, yeah, I'm not a mushroom person. I, yeah. I think they're pretty. But the texture, I just can't do the yes, texture. You're like my best friend. <laughs> but the ingredients in tea, I think, are so important and that it can be so soothing and calming, just the aroma and the flavor. Like if you really, and I think that's part of it in self-care, that it's so important that even if you're just drinking a cup of coffee or tea, that you just take that moment and be mindful in that moment and say, I'm so grateful for this cup of tea and let it soak into you and enjoy that moment and say, wow, you know, I can smell this aroma. I can feel it as it, you know, goes down. It just warms my body. It's just, I think it's an important moment to just relax and let it do its job because it's wonderful. <laughs> tea can be so great. <laughs> so, See, yeah. this is why we're connected because she gets it. She gets it. <laughs> Now, if I give you the letter T-E-A, what words come to mind for each letter? Let's see. Terrific. <laughs> Empowering. Um, probably amazing, but yeah. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Again, as you all see, 
each tea time guest is different because I have not had these words for tea. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> and I love that because that's how I show the difference, right? Because each yeah. buddy, everyone sees their cup of tea differently. So when you, look at, when you look at tea, it's exciting for you, you know? Yeah. For me, when I look at tea, it's teaching educational awareness. Uh, because I believe that we need to teach and educate to bring awareness. Yes. And when we sit and drink our teas, we are sharing our tea stories. So we're bringing awareness to ourselves, who we are. Yes. That's perfect. That's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> so you'll see that on many of my posts. You'll see tea and you'll see teaching educational awareness. And a lot of people will ask me, well, you're not teaching math and you're not teaching science. Yes, I am. Yes. I it's am teaching connected. it in a different way. Exactly. <laughs> in a way that people might actually want to learn it. <laughs> exactly. The fun way because I hate math. <laughs> yes. I used yeah. to love math, but I don't know. As I got older, it was like, oh, I can't do you. Yes. <laughs> Make it more complicated. And I think a lot of parents would relate to you because they keep creating these new processes that we weren't taught. And now you get this problem and they want you to do like 50 steps for one problem. And it's just like, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> There's so many different ways to learn things. And I think that's so important for people to realize that when you're learning something and if it doesn't click with you, try to look at it from a different perspective or learn it in a different way, because it doesn't mean that you're a failure because you can't learn it right away. Know that it's because you're probably not being taught it in the right way. So don't allow yourself ever to feel like a failure if you don't get something right away, but know that there's other ways to be curious about it and find ways about it. So one other thing in my um, 21 day challenge is I talk about citizen science and that's all about being contributing to science, but you get to everyday citizens get to do it. And there's so many different cool apps out there and different ways to do that. So we can all be scientists when a lot of people would say, Oh, I hate science. I don't want anything to do with it. But if you like flowers, if you like clean water, if you like stars, if you like tea, it doesn't matter. There's always some way for you to get connected and involved. So I love that education and awareness is definitely key to everything. So, exactly. Awesome. And yeah. there you go, viewers. I, I am teaching science through Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> There's my science class for all of you out there. Yeah. <laughs> so if you could change anything in the world right now, what would you change? I guess people's mindsets that I just feel like people are so negative right now or so they all think their way is the right way or that they all have tunnel vision or that they can only see one side. And if I could change anything, it would be that everybody could see the beauty and the love that we all have in us and in all creatures and in all living systems. And that if we could just connect from a place of love and not, don't judge, don't jump to conclusions, but rather just be aware, like awareness is really key or observe and then create your decisions, but don't jump to conclusions and don't judge that know that we are truly all connected when it counts, if we're willing to be open to that. So I just would love to be able to just throw, you know, balls of light into everybody's heart and open up their heart and just say there's love and kindness to be shared with everybody. If we could just do that, <laughs> I would love to do that. <laughs> and there's a reason behind all of the questions that I ask all my two time guests, because I want people to see different perspectives. I don't want people to just tune into tea time and it's all Miss Liz's perspectives. This is why I have different tea guests and different flavors and different blends and different countries because there's so many yeah. different things that we can teach one another if we open our minds if we choose to open our minds and learn exactly you know yes it's so important and what we think is the right way is because we don't know other ways but once our eyes are opened and we get another a different experience or a different perspective then suddenly you can now include both of those ideas or multiple ideas and it makes you stronger and it makes everybody stronger if we can just embrace diversity and biodiversity is the key to all life as well and where 
um, our cultures are diverse is where our biodiversity is also diverse. So it's truly important that we support diversity on all levels so that humanity can continue forward and in a better way rather than hurting each other and canceling each other out. And that's just really sad. So we can do better. <laughs> that's right. We can. Yes. You know, and, and I really appreciate your words, Kirsten, because we need to hear these words more often. You know, we need yes. to open our minds. We need to try. We need to make a difference, you know, and if we don't try, we don't know. Right. And we don't know. And we're still even like my whole life has been just involved with like nature and the amazingness around me. But every day I still learn something new that just blows my mind, you know. And so that's where I get the energy. And even on the days where I'm really tired or I'm struggling or something's wrong, I know that if I go out into nature and I just allow myself to be open and I my boyfriend made fun of me because in my challenge, I said, put on my little curiosity cap. Um, and he's like, who are you? I said, I don't know. I'm <laughs> I'm but, the curiosity cat. <laughs> yeah, put on the curiosity cap, go outside and just let, you know, let the world amaze you because we should be amazed. The world is incredible. Everything about it. The fact that we are here is a miracle. The fact that you know we're breathing that our lungs are working that there's air to breathe is a miracle so we need to be living as though everything was a miracle rather than that everything is wrong and broken you know we can yeah we can decide what we focus on and yes there are many things we need to improve of course and there are actions that we need to take most definitely but we can still be amazed and have joy and be happy and just appreciate, have gratitude, just have gratitude. That's what I ask everybody from this day forward, have gratitude for all the things you have in your life. Because <laughs> even if I'm folding clothes, I can be grateful that I have those clothes to fold, right? Exactly, right? Even if we don't enjoy it, we, we got clothes to fold, right? Because yeah, some people don't right. have those clothes. That's right. So just be grateful. Exactly. So. <laughs> So is there, anything you would, is there anything else you would like to share with the viewers out there before we close up this tea time? Just that I really appreciate any support that you have because I am trying to help make a positive difference. So if you can help share me and support what I'm doing, I really appreciate that. And I'm just looking to create a community where we can feel supported and inclusive and where everybody is welcome and where we can support one another in creating positive impacts towards a more sustainable future. So I really appreciate everything that all of you wonderful people are doing, especially you, Miss Liz. <laughs> and just, yes, thank you so much for having me and thank you for helping to share this and get it out there because I want to touch as many lives as I can. And I believe you will. Thank you. The universe has a funny way of making me open a door for others. I don't know how it's done, but it's <laughs> connecting those dots, right? If, yes, we don't, if we don't exactly. open that dot, then the next dot don't come. So yep. I'm the dot to dot girl. Like I Thank just you. open doors for, for others along the way because I feel that that's my purpose in that. And I believe that we can make a difference through a cup of tea. You know, yeah. we, can, we can actually change lives with just one cup of tea yeah. because a cup of tea is you. A cup of tea is the next guest. Another cup of tea is another guest. So the dots are connecting one by one. The cups are Wonderful. connecting one by one. And I really want everyone who's out there who's watching now and who's watching the replay to connect and just connect your dots. You know, what's not meant for me is meant for you. You know, not every dot is meant for us, but we can make a difference if we connect the dots and we keep our minds open like yes. Christmas, like said. That's you know? great. So I really want to thank you for joining me today on Tea Time. And I want to thank all the viewers out there who are watching now and who are watching the replay. Thank you. And again, check out this 21 day challenge because I know I will. I, I need to do some self care. I need to do some grounding. <laughs> I need to just. <laughs> well, it's I, a need, bit of I need this. <laughs> so it really does. And it's got a ton of resources. So that's my main goal is to make sure you leave feeling very inspired and like that you have tools to do what you want to do. So I appreciate being on the show. Thank you so much. I really appreciate what you do. 
Well, thank you so much. And to all the viewers out there, if you would like to be on Tea Time, just reach out to Miss Liz. I am here to make a difference. That's all I do. I just hold the pot and I open the door. That's all I do. You guys are the cup. You guys are the vessel. And you will make the difference. So we will make a difference one cup of tea at a time. And today I'm drinking some black currant tea because it comes from the earth. And we are humanitarians. So we do celebrate all of the beautiful flavors that come from the earth. So again, thank you again for joining me on Tea Time, Kirsten. And stay in contact because I do love to stay in contact with all of my guests out there. And if anybody would like to know more on Kirsten, check her out on YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram. Um, Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> I had to think yeah. there for a second. Facebook and her website. And be sure to check out her book. Grab a copy of that book because I know I'm going to grab a copy. I, I, I just love supporting my guests that come on Tea Time and get to know them a little deeper with all of the things that they do. So I will be doing the 21 Day Challenge and I will be grabbing a copy of that amazing book because there's some beautiful pictures in there. I love nature. So Thank again. You. And that, another grabber for me. My, my library is just growing and growing and growing, but that's okay. Because uh, I actually know the authors. So I kind of have an inside scoop on all of my books. Right. So I want awesome. to thank, thank you again, Kristen. And if you need anything at all, don't be shy to reach out. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. And we will be back tomorrow with a new tea time. And we will be sharing a little harder subject. So tomorrow, if you are a little triggered, I will have trigger warnings because it will be a hard subject to be sharing. So again, tune in tomorrow, 7 p.m. I have a new guest. And then next week, I have two more amazing guests. And a week after, I have two more amazing guests. They just keep coming. So tune in. Every week, you will receive two tea times by Miss Liz. So you never know what I bring to the table. And it's not always going to be about tea. I might just surprise you. So, again, thank you. And I will see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. with a new tea time. Thank you.